Ah, good morning. It's Thanksgiving Eve. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adrian Bankert. Welcome to Morning in America. We have some breaking news uh, from overnight. A lot of news to get to, really. A Walmart tragedy in Virginia. A gunman opening fire, killing at least six people and wounding four others. So gunshots breaking out late last night in Chesapeake, Virginia's second largest city. In the last hour, we've learned the gunman was a Walmart employee. Officers believe he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And investigators had been searching the store all night looking for other possible victims. But they cleared the scene within an hour. Uh, Tom Dempsey live in Chesapeake at the store with what else the police know right now. Tom. Hey, Adrian. Yeah, just a short while ago, I was actually messaging with a woman who works at the Walmart here in Chesapeake, and she described how she was sitting in the break room in the back of the Walmart late last night with some of her friends when this suspect came in and started shooting a gun. And she says three of her best friends got shot and killed right in front of her. And those women's friends, you know, we just got an update from police. Six people total shot and killed by this suspect before that suspect uh, turned the gun on himself and shot himself. But right now you're seeing some of the footage from overnight showing the police response to this incident. But, uh, you know, again, we just got uh, some updates on this investigation a short while ago with police still not revealing the name or much information about the suspect, but describing him as an employee of this Walmart and saying that he used a pistol uh, during this shooting and he was dead when police arrived. Uh, they also described the emotions surrounding this investigation. Take a listen. You hope a day like this never comes, but we train for it. We practice, we talk about it, we discuss, we learn lessons from other places. We try to put those lessons to get good use, hoping that, that, that those lessons will never have to be put to use. We are truly saddened at the tragedy that took place in our community last night. We are all praying for the family, friends, and coworkers of everyone that's affected by this senseless violence. And at this hour, we also know friends and family members are being told to go to a re nearby reunification center if they're having any problems getting in touch with possibly a loved one. Maybe that person you know, possibly lost their phone you know, in this emergency response or potentially some of those families are really going to be experiencing you know, a true nightmare today when they learn the news. But uh, you know, earlier today, a News Nation station spoke to a woman whose brother actually called her from inside the store after he too was shot, he suffered injuries and she described to us sort of that phone call. Take a listen to this. The fact that he was talking, um, I, I, doing my parents who live in Florida also called him and he, he spoke with them very quickly. Um, he said that, that they were all working on him. So, uh, you know, that, that's kind of um, comforting to know that, I mean, he's able to text and able to talk a little bit. Just, he literally was clocked in 10 minutes. You know, you just never know. You just never know, again, in her own words, just such a scary tragedy that happened inside this Walmart. Uh, we also know the governor of Virginia, he recently commented on this, saying that heinous acts of violence have no place in our community before going on to say that he's uh, continuing to monitor their situation and work alongside uh, law enforcement. They'll be giving all the resources they need to complete this investigation, Adrian. All right, Tom, thank you very much. What an emotional time for those families and employees. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.